up guys, this is Mike from Go Detail It Go and I'm bringing y'all a new vlog today called Detailing Lectures where I'm gonna pick an item and I'm gonna talk about the proper way to use it. All right, so let's kick it off. We're talking about wash mitts here. As you can see, I've got a, a variety of them here including a sponge. So I see a lot of detailing videos where they talk about how one wash mitt is better than the other. And like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter what wash mitt you use. You use the cheap one or the most expensive one. Here's what matters. You're using a wash mitt, you apply as little pressure as possible. If you encounter something that won't come off the paint, such as a bug or tar, then you use a product that's dedicated to remove bugs and tar. Now I've noticed these products are hard to find at places like Walmart and O'Reilly for some reason. I don't know why they don't stock them, probably because a lot of customers don't go after them, they don't look for them. So I advise you hit up a place like Amazon or Car Supplies Warehouse. So here's an example of where you can go wrong and, I, and just add a ton of scratches to your car. And I know this because I used to do this before I became a professional detailer and I didn't know any better. And yes, it applies to bugs, like I was just talking about, or anything that's stuck. Instead of busting out the correct product, you'll first spray the hell out of that area and try to go at it super hard with your sponge to get it off. Boom, right there, you're putting in all those unwanted swirls and scratches. I know you wanna get that crap off your car surface, but like I said before, go for the right product, all right? Another way is trying to remove tar or maybe an embedded contaminant. There is tar remover for tar, but sometimes there's just random crap stuck to your car. You really want to resist the urge to pick crap off your car. What you do is you go grab your favorite APC, spray it to weaken it, and go at it with the clay bar. That's what the clay bar is for. A lot of folks think that the clay bar is to remove invisible contaminants off your car's paint. That is absolutely not what it's for. That's how you scratch your car. That's how you put what are called rids. They call, we call them rids here in the detailing industry. Random isolated deep scratches. I've seen it a lot in cars where customers uh, have been clay barring it. I've heard customers say that they're clay barring their car once a month every time they wash it. Just crazy, crazy numbers. Another pitfall is using the same wash mitt to clean underneath that wheel well area. Now if you only have one wash mitt, it's got two sides, baby. Flip it over, use the other side, or do the wheel wells last. You want to avoid getting those dirt, contaminants, grime, whatever. You wanna avoid getting that caught up in the mitt or even in the sponge because you're just gonna carry that across the rest of the car. So you have to be conscious about that. Even with sponges like this, this sponge is awesome. This is the big black sponge. It's got all these little areas where crap like that can get caught, right? And that's a nice uh, gesture from this company, but I still don't want to risk something coming out and ended up on the surface and now I scratched the rest of my car. So that's pretty much all I got for this lecture, guys, on wash mitts. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you want me to do next as well. Go, detailer. Go.